Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Today is Saturday and it's 11 a.m. Now, I'm coming on because we have plans tonight. Yes, I know, right? We have plans. Uh, Bill and I are going to um, a friend's house to have a game night with my daughter, Julie, and her hubby. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, what I wanted to do was, was set myself up for tonight because I'm not going to be home for to do a what's for dinner. So, of course, I want to have something for you guys. And, I, I you know, I video every day, one or two videos, at least, at least one video, at least maybe two or more. Um, that's, that's my goal. So um, I am going to do, um, I was going to make my husband, I've been telling my husband I'm going to make him shrimp egg rolls this whole week and I've just never got to it. So I figured I have this stuff. And now he has to share, he said. So I'm gonna make shrimp egg rolls and bring some over to the to the game night and then leave the rest home. Because everybody's bringing, like uh, Julie's making something and, and, my, and our friends are making something. So we're just gonna have a couple of things, you know, to nosh on or whatever. So um, I don't need an enormous amount, but you know, I need enough or whatever. So anyway. I'm gonna make some shrimp rolls. I just boiled the shrimp that I have. I'm letting that cool off. I'm gonna cut that up, chop that up um, with the stuff. Right now, um, I had did this the other day because I was gonna make it and I never made it. So I saved I saved the cabbage. So I have the cabbage and I have carrots over here that I didn't peel yet. I'm gonna peel them, chop them up. Um, I think I'm gonna use my my uh, my big chopper thingy. What is that called? I always call it a Cuisinart, but it's not a Cuisinart. What is it called, that big chopper thing? What? what my big chopper thing. Cuisinart? It's not a Cuisinart. I don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna use that because fruit processor. Thank you, Frank. I always draw a blank. Oh, guys, by the way, sorry. This is one of the aprons that Courtney from our little gingerbread house sent me. Is this adorable? It's like all ice cream stuff. I love it. Bring on spring. Bring on summer because I want ice cream. Oh, I'll have ice cream anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be summer, but... I love this. It's so freaking cute. I wanted to wear something different today and wear this today. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is go and get the food processor because of course I interrupted myself. Don't remember what I was saying because it flies out of my head and then it'll come back two seconds later. But anyway, I'm going to go in the back and get the food processor. All right, I got the food processor, guys. Um, I'm getting the peeler out. Um, yeah. So listen. So I was um, I was looking at my um, um, my uh, iPad this morning, and I saw this thing come up about Toby Keith. Now I am not a, a big country fan. I like country. There are songs that I love from the country people and all of that. But my husband, when he got his truck, all of a sudden he was listening to all this country, and I get in the truck, and I'm like, oh my god. Well, he always liked country, kind of, but. Now he really, really listens to country. And sometimes when we're driving, I'm like, mm. and then he's, he'll change it, put WHUD on, which is a New York station, East Coast station or whatever. But uh, anyway, that plays all kinds of music and stuff, you know. Anyway, what I'm trying to get to is, um, I'm not a big country fan, but there are some songs that I do like. Anyway, I saw this um, interview that they were having with Toby Keith. If you, if you know country and you know Toby Keith, he's, he has stomach cancer and he's been battling it for the last couple of years. Um, and they were doing an interview on him and it looked interesting, so I wanted to listen to it. Well, he was telling a story on there about, um, about um, Clint Eastwood, that he was with Clint Eastwood a few years back and he, he, was, he was 88 years old making another movie and he's like, ha and Toby's like, how do you do it, Clint? How do you, how do you, you know, you're 88 years old, like, where do you get your stamina and energy from and all that? He's like, you know what I do? He goes, I get up in the morning. I look out. I get dressed. Do what I have to do. I look out the window and I see the day and I go, get, I go out. I go outside. 
I don't sit around, I don't lay around, and I just keep going. He said, and I don't let the old man in. He said, I don't let the old man in because if the old man comes in, you know, it's gonna, you know, I'm afraid it's I'm not gonna leave, <laughs> whatever. So the old man to me, like, is is almost like an analogy, like he's saying he didn't let the old man in because if you listen to the lyrics of the song, um, it says something that kind of makes you think the old man is is death, you know, is 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 your demise, you know. So um, it's really so. Anyway, so Toby said he he couldn't believe like he was he was so like flabbergasted by him and just really impressed by him. So he he went home and he wrote a song, "Don't Let the Old Man In," and I think he wrote it a couple of years ago because he said he didn't he didn't he had it for a while. And I think, I don't know when it was released, but now they're, they're talking about it or whatever. But anyway, he wrote, finished the song, and he, um, he wrote this song, Don't Let the Old Man In. And it's about Clint Eastwood. It's, a, it's you know, an analogy, but about he was, he was uh, impressed so much by Clint Eastwood that he, he just loved, the, you know, that whole story. And so he wrote a song. you got to go listen to it. Toby Keith, Don't Let the Old Man In. What a touching, really pretty, you know, nice, nice song. So I listened to it about five times in a row before. So I was just, I just wanted to tell you guys, I always tell you guys, that, you know, mostly everything. So I wanted to tell you, go listen to the Toby Keith, Don't Let the Old Man In. Even if you don't like country, you'll like this song. It's very touching. It's very nice. Say a prayer for Toby Keith because he is battling stomach cancer. And, um, you know... That's the story with that. So we don't know what's going to happen with him, but, you know, hopefully he'll uh, he'll be okay. So, yeah, but, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that I wanted to share. I had to share that. And I would play it, but I can't because, you know, I'll get in trouble. Don't let the old man in. I'll sing it, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like a lot of country songs, but I'm more of... You know, there are some really good, so there, there are a lot of good country songs, a lot of country singers, you know, but I'm more of a ballad person, so I like all those other, I like those, those country, you know, like I was saying, Loretta Lynn, you know, Patsy Cline, like, you know, um, I like those, those types of country singers, but, um, there are like some singers that are country, like Carrie Underwood, she does a lot of country. I think she is based basically country, but she does a lot of pop too and all that. Um, Kelly Clarkson, now she's really not, she wasn't really country. Yeah. But I like a lot of songs. I, I like a lot of music like that. I like a lot of music, a lot of different music though, guys. I really do. I like, you know, from the 70s, like from uh, Sonny and Cher, um, I Got You Babe to, um, to Frank Sinatra's, you know, Whatever. I, I, I like Elvis. You know, I like all types of music. I really do. Um, I like all types of music. I like dance music. I like... But my favorite kind of genre music is ballads. And, and you know, and, and my daughter, Julie, who loves to sing as well as me, as you guys know, if you're new here, I like to sing. I sang when I was younger. I tried out for Annie when I was younger and everything else. And that's another story. I'll tell you about that another time. Um, I told that story over and over again. But anyway, um, my daughter, daughters, Jenny likes to sing too. But Julie really, really took a knack to it. She tried out for American Idol years ago when she was young and all of that. And um, Julie, Julie's a singer too. She likes the type of music I like. It's a little different. She likes more of, um, she likes ballads like me, like, cause, cause people say to her, oh, Julie, cause she'll, like, she'll play her playlist and it'll be like, um, it'll be like slower songs. She likes like, um, I'm trying to think of the word of the, the, the word, how to describe what, what song she likes. It's on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, they, they'll always say, oh, you got to put that depressing music on. It's not depressing music. It's just, it's a slower, it's a slower, uh, you know, pace of music. And that's what I like. And I think she got that from me, you know, but her voice is a beautiful, her voice is amazing. Like I have a song that I used to sing to, to my girls when they were younger out here on my own by Irene Cara. 
by in with fame. If you never heard of the movie Fame, it was in the seventies, eighties. I think the seventies, probably late seventies, maybe eighties. I don't know. Anyway, go check out that movie Fame with Irene Cara. It's such a great movie. Anyway, she sang Out Here on My Own, and that was one of my favorite songs to sing growing up, and I used to sing it all the time. And so I used to sing it to the girls when we were in, whatever, we were in the house or whatever. Always was, I was always singing. So Julie, Julie um, loved that song as well, and Jenny. And um, so Julie um, sings that song, and she sang it, she sang it at, um, I had, um, had, we had, had a preacher friend, and they, he was having a, a little um, get together, and so Julie sang there. She sang it there. She sang it. Um, she went to karaoke and has a beautiful rendition of it. I have it on video, actually. I'm going to ask her if she she'll let me put that up. Beautiful, beautiful the way she sings it, and that's what. And we we've always just sang that song together. But that's the type of music Julie likes. She's not into like dance music or you know really any. I mean, when she's dancing, yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. But. Um, you know, she likes more of that acoustic. I think that's the word, acoustic. You know, like type of music. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Just thought I'd let you know that. I'm picking up carrots from the f carrots um, from the f floor because I just dropped it. I dropped carrot uh, peels. So, anyway, so I gave Cooper the other day, guys. I made him some... Um, I made Cooper some sweet potatoes. I added some sweet potatoes to his food, and he loves them. He ate them up, guys. So now what he has is, he, he has eaten so far is, because I'm making, if you guys don't know, if you're new here, I'm, I'm giving Cooper a most 90% real homemade food. So he gets uh, chicken breast or he gets chicken thighs. He gets chopped meat now, uh, ground beef, you know, ground beef. He gets, um, I incorporated carrots, peas, which peas he's not the craziest about. He eats them, but he always, whatever, whenever he leaves food, which is very, he never leaves food. But when he does leave a few things, it's always the peas that are left behind. So, but he likes them. He eats them. So he eats carrots, peas, now sweet potatoes. He, he just scoffed it up, loved it. Um, I give him celery. He's eating that. He, he likes that. Um, and rice, <clears throat> and that's it, I think, right? Yeah. That's all I've incorporated so far. So I bought parsnips. I'm gonna, I'm gonna research. I know I, I researched them. They said they were okay for dogs, but I, I didn't, I haven't made them, I haven't incorporated them yet. I want to do that. Um, and um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give him pork. I don't think, cause pork, I, I heard is not that great for dogs. So I don't want to. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna ask the vet, but I don't think I'm gonna get, insert any pork into his diet. But um, supposedly you give them fish, so I don't know, maybe eventually I'll give them a little fish just for that protein or whatever, but, and incorporate some more vegetables. I'm gonna give them mixed vegetables. I just wanna make sure corn is okay because the vet mixed vegetables that I, ha that I make, that I have, have corn in it. So if he can have corn, I'll give him some mixed vegetables as well, um, which has string beans in it. I wanna give him string beans there. Um, I wanna give him squash. Um, which is the next thing I want to I want to try for him. So there's a few things that I'm still going to incorporate into his diet because um, you know his he gets protein in every meal. He gets two meals of that in the morning and at night, and then in the middle of the day he has dry food that he eats if he wants if he's still hungry, which he always eats it. Not an enormous amount anymore, only a little bit, but he still needs that. So um, and then I might get him a little supplement when I go to the vet. I'm going to ask the vet. If he, if he thinks that I should put him on a supplement, just in case, you know, I, I want to make sure he gets all his vitamins because he's only, he's only four years old. So he, you know, he's got a long life ahead of him yet. He's got to have good health and bones and all that. So I got to make sure that he gets the right, you know, nu nutrition. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm incorporating it slow. It is a job. Like it is, it is, um, you know, it is something that I have to make plans to do and do. And I'm finding that if the... If I do it once a week or once every couple of weeks and I make a lot, then I don't have to worry about it so much. But so there are some times when I run out and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have food for Cooper and I'll take something and, you know, I'll, I'll make a piece of chicken or something minor for him and rice and vegetables as long as he has that. It's okay. And what I really am going to do is I'm, 
I never really buy, um, I never really buy um, instant rice anymore. I always buy my rice at the Dollar Tree now. I, I buy the long grain rice because I love it. It's so cheap, the dollar twenty five for a two pound bag. But what I think I'm gonna do, maybe, I'll see. I might just keep a small box of like the Walmart brand, Great Value, or Aldi brand or whatever, of instant rice in or frozen in my freezer or in my ca cabinet. Because on days that like I say, oh my God, I didn't get to make Cooper's food, then at least I have some rice I could give in. And I always have chicken, you know, or beef or something like that that's to incorporate with, with it. Because he, the main thing that he has to get at every meal is his vegetables and and some protein. The protein is very important, but not as as important as the vegetables, because that's really what really is 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 the important part. So is protein. Don't get me wrong, it is, but he he needs to get that. So anyway, so I'm I'm gonna start setting myself up more, better. Um, but I'm I've been doing okay. I've been doing okay. I just made it the other day, and I only it was only good. I only made like three days worth, you know. It's definitely cheaper than buying the dog food. It, it, it definitely is. Um, you know, and the thing is, is that like, if I, 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 if I, if chicken, if chicken drumsticks are on sale, which they were last, last week, the week before or something, they were like 79 cents a, a pound or something, um, I, I will give him that as opposed to the chicken breast. If I get a good sale on chicken breast, also, I'll give him, I'll, I'll incorporate, I'll mix it. I'll mix it with that and with, with chopped meat and um, some other meats. I'm gonna start picking up like, um, like uh, uh, chuck steak when I get that on sale and all that. So he's gonna eat well. But what I'm saying is I like to have at least a week or two's in the, of, of food in the refrigerator for him because it only lasts about a week, week, week to 10 days in the refrigerator. So you have to eat it up in that time anyway. So if I made some more, I would just put it in the freezer and then use it. I wouldn't let it go bad or not, you know. So that's what I'm just saying. I just, I'm just saying that I want to set, I need, I need to set myself up, really have it done. So this way it's not stressful because I don't want it to be stressful. And I also enjoy doing it. I also preparing, I also like preparing his food and, you know, it's giving me something to do. It's it's uh, it's fun for me. It's not a job. It really isn't. But I also don't want to have it be stressful. You know what I mean? So yeah. Anyway, so that's what so that's what I've been doing with his food. I don't know if um. I don't know. I I mainly wanted to really do it well. The the main reason is that I started making his own food. His, you know, his homemade food is, is that I wanted him to eat better. Like, I wanted him to be healthier and eat better. And, you know, I mean, we we get him the best dog food that, that we think is good and is affordable. But they're all crap. They're really not that great for them. They have fillers. They're, they're not good. For, they're really not good for them. But, do you you know, do, do dogs eat them every day? Yes, okay? Anyway, he also has a seizure disorder. If you're new here, you don't know. He has a seizure disorder. He's on medicine three times a day. He still, knock on wood, has seizures with it. He has a, a, a disorder, so it's always, he's always going to have seizures, but they're controlled. So I figured, you know what? Maybe I've heard from different people, oh, I switch my dog's food to natural food or whatever, or I, I cook for them now and they don't have any more seizures. So I figure, and then, and then you hear from people, oh, it, doesn't, it, it, it has nothing to do with seizures, the food, it doesn't matter or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what, what the truth is, and I don't know. But I figured if I can, if there's any chance that feeding him a better food, number one, it's it's okay anyway because he's he'll be healthier. It'll be good for him. Number two, and if, if there's a chance that it could help stop the freaking seizures, why wouldn't I do it, guys? It's affordable. It's even more affordable than buying him the stupid dog food and all of that and he loves it he's excited about his food he was always excited about his food but this food he really like loves it he loves it he just seems happier i don't i don't know i don't know but anyway if there's a chance that it could help with the seizures and all his overall health why not right they're just like your kids you know you you want them to be healthy and happy and because you know you you invest in them you invest love in them you invest money you, you know, it's not money. It's it, it. You invest 
love and you don't want to see them suffer and all that. Just like your kid, you know? So yeah, so that's what we're doing. This. All right, so I'm going to cut this these up just a little bit just to start them out. Oh, it fell right in the thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. I found my little pocket here. So it's clean. There's nothing in it. Um, so I got carrots in here. This is shredded already. So I'm not going to put that in again. I'm going to mix it up at the end of it because it's shredded already. Because I did that that one already. Um, so I got to get I got to get my sauces, guys. I need um. For this, I need soy sauce. Okay, we need a tiny bit of fish sauce, not a lot. A tiny bit of a sesame seed, not a lot, but a nice amount. You gotta be careful with sesame seed. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of hoisin. That's not hoisin. This is oyster sauce. Oyster has to go in. Uh, a little bit of poison sauce, not a lot, just a tiny bit, just a hint of it, because it's kind of sweet, but if you only put a little bit, you don't taste the sweetness, okay? Um, so I gotta go in the back and get soy sauce. I better have soy sauce in the back, because I only have a little here. I'm pretty sure that I bought it. I better have bought it, because I'm really gonna be upset if I didn't. Um, yeah, I don't see it here, so I think I have it in the back. All right, let's put this on the counter here. Oh, and I got to get ginger. I, I, I think I had some more frozen ginger, fresh ginger in the freezer. If I don't, then I'll use dry ginger, which is not my favorite to use. And I have scallions in the refrigerator, which I want to put in. Let me go in the back and see if I got soy sauce. Yeah. All right, so I had soy sauce, thank God. I always buy it now, usually every time I go shopping, either, you know, I do shopping once uh, once every couple of weeks or, you know, once in a week and a half or whatever. Bless you. And, um, and so now, since we, we eat more Asian food and more Chinese food, we always have, though. I always bought soy sauce, but now I make sure I keep it really on kind of hand because we, we make a lot of, you know, homemade Chinese food, like I'll make lo mein, chicken and broccoli. You know, it's just too expensive to go out for food guys anymore it's just too much you know special occasions all that that's one thing but me and my sisters I told you guys the other day if you if you didn't hear we went for breakfast the other day my I have two older sisters and we went out to breakfast we met we met we're gonna meet once a month now to chat and you know catch up and everything because even though we live 10 minutes from each other we never see each other you know and it just it's, it's hard so anyway we went for breakfast at the freaking diner and it was $65 for eggs 60 well it was 65 dollars with the tip but it was 50 like three dollars or something for eggs for for three people eggs and bacon and home fries really so anyway that's what we i don't even know where i came i don't even know where, how i got into that subject but anyway that it's crazy so yeah so we make our food we make a lot of our food at home a lot of our food at home because honestly, when I go out, I, I always regret it. And I'm like, oh my God, I just spent like $50 on freaking, you know, it's crazy. It's just, I, I, I can't live with the fact. I, I can't live with it. it. It's just, it's too much. So anyway, we could have just as good food like my husband's and I's. Um, this is why my videos are so long because all I do is chat. But that's okay because that's, that's what I do. Um, for my, my husband and I were married 30 five years on um, Dece in December and uh, we want we always used to go to Red Lobster like that was our place we love Red Lobster always get the same thing basically we just love it and it's, a, it's a, just a nice out for us well I was like there's no way I'm going to Red Lobster number one and spending that kind of money and number two it's harder with the sleeve you know you can't eat a lot at one time and it just to me is not really worth it you know like I said on special occasions Yes, I'm not saying I'm never going to go out to dinner again. I love to go out to eat. I love it. But so our for our anniversary, I made red lobster food and it was delicious. I made all the things that we that we ate. I made the, the, the crab stuffed mushrooms. That's what, always one of our go-tos. I made the shrimp scampi. 
I made the, the feta, uh, I made the Alfredo uh, shrimp pasta, and I made homemade cheddar biscuits. Not the ones from the box. I made the homemade. And they were different, they were a little different than Red Lobster's recipe, but I got, I, I, I used the Red Lobster recipe, but it wasn't, wasn't from the box. You know, you could buy the box. I didn't use the box, I made them fresh homemade, and they were delicious. They were really, really good. So we had everything that we had at Red Lobster. Yes, for half, less than half the freaking price. There you go, guys. I could live with that, and it's more enjoyable, and all of that. So anyway, that's what we do. If you want to budget, you want to save some money, do that. All right, so I keep my scallions in here in a... um. In a, in a bowl with water or a container with water in the refrigerator because every time I buy scallions, I'm in the store and I'm like, okay, I, 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 want, I need scallions for a dish. I want scallions. I buy them, I use them a little bit, and then they rot in there and I'm always throwing them out. And last year, about a year, I think it was over a year ago, Jerry Ellen from Cooking with Neighbors, go check out her channel, guys. Jerry Ellen from Cooking with Neighbors. She's awesome. She does a lot of great meals. Go check her out. She told me, oh, Linda, no, put your scallions in a, in a jar with water and leave them in the refrigerator and they'll grow and they'll stay fresh. Well, thank you, Jerry Ellen, because that's what I do. I don't, you, like, I, like, these are, look at them. These are in the water and they're a little bit floppy, but they still stay fresh, you know what I mean? So I haven't used them in a week. I bought them, like, over a week ago. I used them a little, you know. So, and then when I go to make a meal, like today, I'm like, oh my God, I have scallions. Otherwise I wouldn't have scallions and then I wouldn't have to have them to use them because they'll be bad, you know? So anyway, so that's what I did. So I take them, I'm gonna take this um, out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, put, I'm gonna put a little bit of the green in here. And then when I, um, just some green, I'm gonna chop it up and put it in here. And when I, um, when I mix it all up already, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this part at the end, this, um, the white part. That one's not good. I'm gonna put in the white part because um, I wanna put, I want them to be more crunchier. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I want the flavor of the scallions, onions in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm not gonna put these in there because I don't want, I'm just gonna put these in here. That, that doesn't really matter because I don't want them to, um, I don't want those other ones to get so mangled in here. Um, so I have the shrimp, but I'm not gonna put the shrimp in yet because the shrimp, I wanna pulse because if you put the shrimp in with everything else, it's gonna get too, it's gonna like disappear. And I want, I want little pieces of shrimp in there. I want people to say, oh, this is, oh, the shrimp, this is a shrimp roll. You know, um, one time I made them and they were, it was a little bit too fine. You couldn't really, you could taste the shrimp, but it wasn't, you know. So I want them to be, I want them to be cased and, and felt. You know, I want the texture of shrimp in your mouth. If that makes sense. All right, so let's do this. So that's what it is. Like I said, I'm not putting the cabbage in here because the cabbage is already shredded and I don't want it shredded any more than it is. All right, so I have the, um, the carrots and the scallions. So I'm gonna, um, Trying to think, I always have some sort of, I, I have a, there's a method to my madness, guys. There's a method to my madness. So this is gonna be shrimp. What's going on with this? Oh, this freaking thing. This thing always has to be in. Oh! All right, so I'm, I shredded this. I want this shredded. Because again, I don't want you to bite on a big piece of carrot. It has to be soft and, you know, and it has to cook nice. So I'm just going to give it one last go. All right, so that's there. So, um, mm, ooh, the scallions smell so good. There's nothing like scallions. Oh, I love, I love, first of all, I love onion. Comment down below if you love onion because I literally, crave onion like I I can I think to myself oh I want onion and like I'll make something with fried onion 
I'll just eat the onions by themselves. I, I don't know what it is, if it's a carb thing, because I realized the other day that I didn't realize how much there is carbs in onions, and I mean, maybe that's why I crave onions, because I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, it's better me, for me to eat an onion than it is to eat a piece of bread, so it is what it is. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I'm a chatty Cathy. So I gotta take the, um, I got shrimp on sale the other day. This is from Walmart. Guys, shrimp is affordable. You could, years ago, you couldn't, you know, we would only have shrimp on at the holidays. Shrimp is so affordable now. You can get a bag at Walmart for six, seven dollars, five dollars, you know, and it's good shrimp. Aldi sells it good too, or you can get it at the regular food stores, or you can go and get it at the seafood department and spend double, triple the money. I don't do that. I don't do that. I buy the, we, we buy the big bags of frozen shrimp and they're delicious they're fresh and all of that so um yeah so shrimp is affordable you can afford you can budget in a little bag of shrimp to make shrimp salad to make a little to add a little shrimp to your pasta for your family you don't have to have an enormous amount of shrimp and you could also buy they have the baby shrimp in the cans you could buy those sometimes they're hard to find but you 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 can find them you just got to search and add that to a dish. That's a can of shrimp, which is so cheap. You could even do that with a, with a can of salmon, a can of um, uh, other fish, you know. It's just, it's just really, really clams. Um, and you only need like one, one or two cans because it goes far to make a clam sauce. There's just, there's just so much you can do, guys. So much. I'm gonna do a, a video on that, of how you can use those canned items. Yeah, I gotta write that down. I gotta write that down because I have to remember because I'll forget. Yes. So anyway, these um, these shrimp have the tails on them because they were cheaper, and so I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the tails off. They're cleaned and they're deveined. I one thing that I have to say is that I will do it if I have to. If it's a really big steal on shrimp and they have the shrimps that need to be peeled and deveined, I will do it. I hate to do it. Literally hate to do it, but. If it's a really good buy, I will grin and bear it and do it. But if I can buy the shrimp cleaned and deveined, and even with the tail off, Walmart has always has really good prices on the on the on the shrimp with the tail off and with the tail on. And with the tail off, they and they, and they sell raw and they sell cooked. I prefer getting ninety eight point nine percent of the time, ninety nine percent. I I I um prefer getting the raw. Because sometimes, unless you're just putting it in using a cold or whatever, um, if you're gonna cook the shrimp, then you gotta cook it half the time if you're gonna put it in to another, or you just cook it less if you put it into like a dish, like with other things, like a pasta dish. You don't cook it as long if the shrimp is, if the shrimp is already cooked because you will overcook the shrimp and if shrimp overcooks, it's like rubber. It's, you, you can't even enjoy it, so. So, it, so if you buy the already cooked, just be aware of that. Be careful. Don't cook it as much. You gotta get it out, get it in, get it fish. You gotta cook it quick. And that, and, and that. But anyway, so um, this this was a deal. I got a good deal on the shrimp with the tails on. So it takes a minute. I'll take the tails off. Not the end of the world. But there are, like I said, there are some times when I will get the shrimp. Um, with with the skin on and everything because it's such a good deal. If it's a really good deal, I don't care. I'll sit I'll sit here and do it because it's worth it. You know, it's worth it. Um, yeah, and like even if you have company, like I used to go to, we used to go to my my husband's family and and uh, she used to always put out shrimp um, shrimp as like you know like she would put out you know the, the dips and all of that and she'd also put out. Um, shrimp and it was always the shrimp that was in 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 the shell and we would and you'd have to you'd have to peel your own shrimp and so what that was the fun of it i used to love that you know so i don't so i don't mind peeling my own shrimp you know i don't I'd rather not but so yeah so just uh just some tips guys just some tips i'm hungry oh, let me eat shrimp now so, but I'm a shrimp lover. 
Oh my god, I, I uh, before I had the sleeve, um, I could eat a pound of shrimp myself. Like, just love it, love it, love it, love it. But I like, I'm a big seafood eater. Comment down below if you like seafood. I love freaking seafood. Love it. I love seafood. I like fish. But you know, seafood is funny. You know, there are people that eat. In, in fact, my daughter Julie, she was named after a friend of mine that I knew from work when I was younger. And her name was Julianne. And she was a seafood lover. This is when she was a teenager. We, we were teenagers. She, um, she had seafood one day, like she always did. She ate, was eating, you know. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, she got an allergic reaction to seafood. I don't know if it was lobster, shrimp, or I, I don't even know what it was. But she literally almost died. She had to go to the hospital. They had, you know, she had to her throat closed up. And she always ate seafood. She never had an issue with seafood. And then all of a sudden, one day, she just couldn't eat seafood anymore. And she was devastated because she loved it. So seafood's a little funny. You got to be careful. Like when you give it to kids, you know, just watch. Oh, my earring just fell off. Just watch. Like if you give, if you give them, if you want to. My earring is not, my earring, my earring literally just broke. It just broke right in front of our eyes here. The whole thing just fell off and broke. The whole clip area. Amazon earrings, that's all right, I'll put another ones on. Um, so if you give your kids seafood, that's fine and well. You know, ask your pediatrician when, when they're ready, you know, the age that they're ready to, to try it, give them one thing at a time. You know, so you know that if, if they never had shrimp before and you give them shrimp and an hour later, you know, they have an issue, um, at least you'll know it's from the shrimp, you know what I mean? So don't, don't give them like shrimp and crab at the same time because then you're gonna, if something happens, you're not gonna know which freaking shrimp, if it's a shrimp or it's crab meat. Whether it's your, your daughter, your, your son, your granddaughter, your grandson, make sure even grandmas don't give them any seafood without your daughter or son or whoever you're watching or n without knowing and asking them because seafood can be very dangerous. But, you know, it's, it's, it's fine for the majority of people, but I'm just saying, like, she was so devastated, and that's, and that's where I got my daughter's name from, because I loved her. She was, such, she was such a good friend and everything, and I haven't spoken to her in years and years, but I loved her name, Julianne, and I was like, that's our daughter's, that's going to be our daughter's name. It wasn't my first daughter's name, it was my second daughter's name, but I did just absolutely loved it. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's the story about Julie's name. <laughs> Guys, I talk about everything. All right, so let's get this done. Let's, um, I'm getting hungry too. I gotta eat something. Uh, I'm just gonna pulse this because I don't want these shrimp, like I said. I want them small enough though. They have to be small enough because otherwise, first of all, they won't fit into, this, into the egg roll. And the carrots are already done. Let's see about this. I, I think this is perfect. Woo! See, now you can physically see the shrimp. That's what I want. If I would have wet another couple of pulses, the shrimp would be shredded. I don't want it shredded. I want it enough where you can see it. And there are some pieces that didn't shred all the way, like this. But I'll just, when, I, um, when, I'm, wrapping the, um, when I'm wrapping the egg rolls, I'll just, you know, trim those up a little bit. But that's fine. Ooh, the, uh, the, the scallions, guys. So that's all I have to chop in here, right? Yeah, I don't have to chop anything else. Let's put all this in here. This is why this thing is so good. I love using this. I rarely use this, but lately I've been using it a lot because I've been making this stuff a lot. Using my new stuff. Love it, love it. Love. Don't forget, go to my description box and you can get 10% off for Simply. I always Simply Cool Things. Hallelujah, I remembered. I always forget the end of it. Simply cool things, guys. For the next three, the next um, like twelve days, because it's three weeks that supposedly they're gonna keep the ten percent off. Go to my description box 
You can get 10% off off of this whole thing. It's so great. They're silicone guys. They work amazing. I love them. They're small. They fit in your on your cannon nicely. They're sturdy. I love them, love them, love them. 10% off, guys. Go, go check them out. There's a coupon there. You have to go to the go to the website that I'll have. And then I have the coupon. You just put the coupon in. It'll be a create with Linda coupon, and you will get 10% off. Simply cool things. I'm excited because I think they're gonna, I think I might be doing some more stuff from them, they said. Maybe they wanna give me some more, you know, send me some more stuff and I'll be happy to promote them. Happy to promote them, try them out and promote them. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. All right, so I think that's all we have to do in here. Yeah, that's what I put in there. And oh, cause I'm missing the cabbage, so I feel like I'm missing something. Because the cabbage is right there. So I'm just getting every little bit out. Here's the cabbage. Is the cabbage small enough? Just want to make sure. Yeah, the cabbage is small enough. So there's the cabbage. And I, you know, there are recipes. You can go if you want to Pinterest and get an exact recipe for the amount you want to make. I'm just guessing i just make what i think is enough and that's how i do it guys that's a lot of my cooking is you'll know here if you're new here and you know you're a new sub um you'll see that 95 percent of the time i don't put a recipe up i would say more than that but if you really do want a recipe i can adjust it and i can write it down for you um you know a lot of most of my things that i do on my channel is you know, off the seat of my pants. I just, uh, you know, I, I make it up as I go or I've done it for years. So it's it's kind of it's kind of hard. I know like when you watch somebody who doesn't really have a particular recipe, but like I said, I'll always tell you go to Pinterest or I always say I'm gonna try to link it. I never link it because honestly, I just, I have difficulty with all that. My head is like compartmentalized of, you know, I, I have difficulty with all that, with, with all that um, computer stuff and everything. But, like I said, if you really want the recipe, I will make the biggest effort to write it down for you or to tell you where to get it or whatever. A lot of what I do is a concept. So, like, if, if I make chicken and broccoli, right, I make it how I make it. Like, I don't go by a recipe. I will sometimes go to the recipe, go to a recipe, and just see what's in it. Like, okay, it has soy sauce like this. It has soy sauce. It has fish sauce. It has oyster sauce. That's what I do. I skim the recipe because I have trouble with sticking to recipes. I really do, you know. Uh, baking, you have to stick to certain recipes. And some food recipes, yes, if you want it a particular way, I will go for the exact recipe because if I want it like to taste like red lobster or I want it to taste like, you know, Applebee's or to taste like whatever, I will go by the exact recipe as that as far as that goes. But most of my recipes are concepts. So if I make chicken and broccoli, you could, if you want an exact recipe, you go on Pinterest or go on Google, wherever you want to go, whatever, and get the recipe for chicken and broccoli. And that'll be the recipe. And you know what I mean? Or if you want to do it like I did it, you don't have to ask me and I will tell you what I did. And you can go back to the video, watch the video and see what I did, okay? So that's what I'm just telling you, just so if you're new here, that's how I do things, and that's what that's what it is. So yeah. Very informational today. Very. <laughs> All right. So let's mix this up now. Because we're gonna put the sauces in here. Love this. And guys, too, these are heat resistant. I forgot to tell you guys that. These are heat resistant. I'm gonna get the box and read it to you. Heat resistant, they're awesome, they're sturdy, they're the only thing you can't do, and I know this is difficult, maybe sometimes, you can't put them in the dishwasher. This one I'm not too sure of because it doesn't have the wood, but because these are wood, the wood will burn in there. So don't put them in the dishwasher. It's not dish dishwasher safe. And another tip is when you wash them, 
let them air dry. Don't wipe them like with a paper towel or a towel, big towel, because for some reason the, um, the little particles get caught on here. I don't know if it's because of the silicone. It does it on my other ones too that I have of a different brand. So just let them air dry, or, you know, and then just put them back in the thing. Don't dry them with a towel or anything. All right, I'm wondering if I, you know what, guys? I have some crab meat. I think I might put some crab meat in here, too. You know why? Because there's not, I don't think there's enough shrimp to the ratio of cabbage and carrots. And I have, I'll show you, I have that imitation crab meat I bought to make crab rangoons that I haven't made yet. It's still in my fridge, so I gotta use it up. I'm gonna go in there and get it. I'm gonna go search for it. I'll be back. All right, people. So I've got it. This is what I'm going to put in it. I'm going to put about half of this in there. And the rest I'll use for a salad or dipping in um, the uh, cocktail sauce. So yummy. Because I'm not doing crab rangoons right yet. So anyway, I'm going to just let me make sure this is so good. I know it's so good because I, I, I didn't buy it a long time ago. Um, I'm going to put some of yeah, April 13th, 2024. Okay, so that's good. So I'm going to I'm gonna put this in here. I put it back together, and I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going to cut it in half. Okay. This, I told you before, literally has no flavor. You ready? You ready? It takes on whatever flavor. You sure you text Frank everything, right? I text him everything as you told me to. I sent him like six messages. I got your alios, Linda, and thanks for making me. What? Hmm? What are you making? You making your own crab meat? I'm putting crab meat in it too, cause um, because uh. I want more seafood in it. That's okay, right? I want shrimp. There's shrimp in it, too. Just stay out of the kitchen. You don't even know what's going on in the kitchen. I wanted shrimp rolls, You're not right. shrimp and crab rolls. All right, so should I put, take some of this stuff out and make Just it separate? make whatever you're going to make, And Linda. make separate? I will suffer for you. <laughs> so annoying. Excuse me? He's annoying. Excuse you? He's a no. I'm hungry. So I just brought oh. the Elios up for you. He brought Elios up for me. Do I want Elios? Uh, it's a car, but you know what? I think I'm going to make Elios. God help me <laughs> survive this I think I'm going to do some um, cocktail sauce, too, with this. God help me survive this woman. <sighs> Guys, when I get hungry, like, watch out. Yeah, I know. So I'm entertaining your viewers or scaring them away. Or scare, I would say you're more scaring them away than anything. <laughs> Where's the top to this motherless thing? I have no idea what you're even talking about. That. I think I'm gonna do some with shrimp and some with um with shrimp and crab. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or should I just do some crab and some shrimp? Separate. Or should I do I don't know. Can you never make a decision? No, I can't do that. I can't do that now because, um, oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> you can do it. What? You can do it. He's so annoying.
So, I separated them. This one just has shrimp, and this one has crab and shrimp. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm just gonna put some of these scallions in. I'm gonna scissor them in very small. I like the white. Still eating good. <clears throat> so I was hungry, so I was going to make pizza, but I decided not to have pizza. And so I had a half of, um, I cut a half of uh, avocado, and I'm having some of these imitation crab meat with some lemon. Um, and I don't know, I don't, my stomach doesn't feel that great, so I don't know. But that, um, I, I had a different type of coffee this morning, that coffee was fine. Um, I had, um, cause this is what happens guys, when we go out, my husband always takes, usually if we go out in the mornings, he'll take a cup of coffee. And he and he eat, and he eats and he drinks coffee, regular coffee, with sugar and cream and dry creamer, right? Yeah. And I'm because I always have to be drinking something, and of course most of the time I don't bring anything with me. Um, he drinks my coffee. I drink his coffee. I sip his coffee, and I always like it, and I notice that it doesn't affect my stomach. 95, 8% of the time, I never had an issue. So he's, this morning, so yesterday morning I had coffee and I was like, I, I, I was nauseous. I had three sips and I was like ready to friggin', it was just, they're not good. So I'm really upset because I crave like hot coffee in the mornings and I want something hot. Tea doesn't really do it for me. So I rather just not have anything or I'll have my cold coffee, which is not what I prefer in the mornings but I will have that sometimes. And that usually 99% of the time agrees with my stomach. Why? I don't know, but it does. And so this morning he's like, why don't I just make you a coffee that you always have a sip of mine. So it doesn't seem to bother you. So I'm like, yeah. So he made me a small cup of coffee, like how he makes it. It tasted just like it. And I, I had a nice amount of it, probably half of a 10 ounce cup. And my stomach was fine, and see, it was fine, it was fine, and it was, I had no issues. But ever since after I eat, ate, my stomach doesn't feel that great, but I don't think it was the coffee, I don't think it's the coffee, I think it's, this may be the imitation crab legs, I don't freaking know. You're gonna be using this today, right? What is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the story, guys. So I'm gonna put this, the sauces in here now. Okay, this one has crab in it, and this one has just a shrimp. So the silver bowl has the shrimp. Remember that, though. Yeah, you're funny. You're a riot, Wendell. You're a riot, Alice. All right, so we're gonna put probably get a, a tablespoon of sesame oil. Okay. Yeah, like Sesame Street. We're gonna put a little bit of the oyster flivet sauce. Mm. Probably about a teaspoon. A little bit of fish sauce. Oh wait, I didn't do the other one. Hello? Okay, you gotta give me a second. I can't get confused here because you know me. Is <laughs> that a teaspoon? Oh, shoot. Fish sauce. Just a little, a little less than a teaspoon of that. A little bit of hoisin. I'll leave these both there. They're both clean. About a teaspoon. Like I said, I don't use a lot of that because... You know, it could be sweet. And the soy sauce. So I'll do this and then I'll taste it and see if it needs anything else. 
I'm probably going to put a little bit of lemon zest in it. Or just lemon. Yeah, there's a big thing of cheese in there. Yeah, there's a whole big thing. Soy sauce is one of the ones that you get a lot. You know, we put a lot in. This never works, ever. Yes, people, I'm using my teeth. I'm sure I'll get criticized for that. One lady told me once, Linda, you shouldn't use your teeth to open up a bottle. Thank you very much for your concern. <laughs> Oh, something really funny that I have to tell I have to talk about. Okay. Oh shoot, plastic. Plastic. Glad I saw that. So probably I would say about two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. Um, so you know how I was I was talking about on my channel. What is it? Oh the pizzas? Okay. How I was talking about on my channel that you know, people say to me, oh, Linda, you shouldn't be eating sugar, you shouldn't this, you shouldn't that, and whatever. And I was telling people, I went on and I said, listen, I really appreciate all of it. I care about you guys. I love it that you care about me. I appreciate that. But there's no more talking about that. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna do what I want. It's my life. It's my body. I'll, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. I'll handle it. Thank you so much for your concern, and I really appreciate it. But I really don't want any of that negative kind of talk, you know? So, the other day, it's so funny. This is what I love about YouTube and about the subscribers. Most, 95% of the subscribers are so awesome, are so protective, are so amazing. So, one subscriber, who is very nice, and she's just trying to be helpful, said something to me and maybe she didn't she didn't hear the message that I sent that I said she said something to me about something something that I did with diabetes or something and it was hysterical okay it was a little bit negative and so one of my other subscribers came on and she's gonna know who she is and the other lady will know who she is I, I, I frankly don't even 100% remember because there's so much that I read and everything but I'll know as soon as they mention it, if they mention it again. Um, she came on and she said, whoever, she said her name, I think she said her name, she goes, whoever, listen, Linda doesn't want to talk about that. Linda doesn't want to hear about, uh, about the negativity. Didn't you hear what she said? She doesn't want to know. It's her life. It's her body. Oh, my God. It was hysterical. Thank you so much who that was. I th I'm pretty sure that I commented thank you. It was just so funny. I just found it so funny. And I was hysterical laughing because I was like, you know what? People do listen, you know? People, it was so cute and so, so, so sweet. Thank you, whoever whoever did that. And thank you to the person who said it. Because I, I like, like I said, I understand. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm very appreciative of you caring about me and thinking about my health and all that. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But in the other aspect... I don't want to hear about what I'm doing wrong. What, like I said, if you if you care about me, you could say, oh, Linda, I'm concerned. I care about you. But I'm not going to go into all that stuff about me having too much sugar or me not doing the right thing. You know what? That's, that's it. I'm not, doing, I'm not here to be judged like that. So that's what I want to say. But anyway, oh, my God, that was such a laugh. Thank you so much, whoever that was. It was so, so funny. I, I got such a kick out of that. Linda, you, didn't you hear what Linda said? Linda said she doesn't want to talk about that. It's her body. It's her life. Do not talk about it. Awesome. <clears throat> all right. So this is all mixed up. <clears throat> I love it. Oh, you know what I got to put in there? Oh, shit. I forgot gin. Shoot. I forgot ginger. I got to see if I have any frozen ginger. Ginger. And I also want to put in um, garlic. All right, so I do have some fresh ginger in the freezer that I, ha that I found.
But I have this too, and I want to use this because I don't use it that often, and I just want to use some of it up. So um, the organic, let me just make sure that it's still good. I, I, I think I looked at it once before and it was fine still. Yeah. Um, so I want to use some of this ground ginger up, and that's what I'm going to do. So ginger can be strong, so you got to be a little careful with ginger. You know, maybe like a, a, a quarter of a teaspoon. And then sometimes, and then you can always add a little bit more. So that's what I do. I'll add a little bit, and then I'll taste it. And if it needs something else, I'll add a little bit of um, more ginger. Let me get the garlic, because I'm green. I forget everything. Where is it? Ah. I mean, you know, it, it should be right here, the minced garlic. I know I saw it somewhere. Oh, wait. oh, I gotta get my, I gotta get my iced tea. I'm really thirsty, guys. Um, where is the minced freaking garlic? Everything. I can never find anything in this house. Ever. Never, ever, ever. All right, so um, I got, when all else fails, go in the back in your pantry and get the other, the new one. That's what I did. I know I have some in here, left in here, not that much in the fridge. I'll find it. I'll utilize it so it's not a big deal. But I wasn't searching because I'm not going through that right now. So I got the one in the back. I'm going to put like a, just a teaspoon, if that. Yeah, because I don't want it too garlicky, but you want some garlic, you know? <clears throat> All right. So about a teaspoon of garlic. While I had you guys on pause, I filled, I've been using my smaller cup because I really like it because it keeps the ice really cold and the drink really cold, but it's so small. It takes me forever to, to friggin', I gotta, every time I, I run out of it, I gotta refill it. It's just a pain in the ass, so... Courtney from our little gingerbread house sent me this cup. Thank you so much, Courtney. I know her. She has one. I think she has pink. Ellie has another color. I forget what color it is. She told me, but I forgot because I'm so old. Anyway, thank you, Courtney. So I filled this up with my raspberry tea. And I'm ready to go for the day. I'm so excited. This will last me a long, long time. This is like double, triple the size of my other one. And I have one of these cups that my daughter had gotten me, but I don't know where the heck it is. I put it, I think I put it in the base when I wasn't using it. Um, so yeah, but I have this one and I'm going to use it. So thank you, Courtney. Yes. All right. So I'm going to mix this minced garlic up. I'm also going to put some garlic powder in here, guys. Because garlic powder is a different kind of flavor. It's more of a subtle. Okay, so let's do that. Do you have the garlic powder out, Phil? I put it back. Mm. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, this is the um, this is the the mixed and this is the shred. I'm a every day waiting for you, darling. Give me a kiss. So I'm eating. Um, I told you guys I'm eating an avocado. Mm, so good. It's good because it's protein. All right really annoying me. I'm going to taste this now and see what it tastes like. Let me find my tasting thing. Where is it? 
I have a spoon in here that I always use as a little tasting spoon, and it disappeared. It just freaking appeared. Oh, where's my little black spoon? No, uh, everything in this house disappeared. It just disappeared. I don't know where things go. I don't know. There must be a hole somewhere in the, in the, in the house that just everything just goes into and you lose it. All right, let's taste this one. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's so good. Yeah. I'm going to use another spoon because I'm making this for other people, so. Not just my family. Okay, let's taste this one. Hi, buddy. Um. Okay. I feel like this needs a little more soy sauce. A little bit more ginger. Not a lot. Um... Drop of sesame oil. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon in here. I know that sounds funny, but I don't know. This is the other spoon that I've been just mixing with. Haven't used it to dip or anything. So just so you know. them so this way I could use the plastic spoons for tasting therefore I don't have to I don't have to uh, keep using regular spoons you know what I mean I know I have that somewhere I'm gonna wash these two spoons that I just used so No. Okay. There's no question. Okay, they're clean spoons, guys. Okay. Yes. Cause I'm gonna taste again. Needs another squeeze to voice him. Then, what I'm going to do is I have to drain all the liquid out and let it sit five minutes so all the flavors get together, and then I'll drain the liquid because if you if you fry them up with the liquid then the, the egg rolls are a complete soggy mess. Even if you fry them, you air fry them, you oil fry them, whatever, they're very, very soggy. And then they won't keep the crisp. And I'm gonna fry them first. Um, and I'm gonna bring them there and we're just gonna heat them up in the oven. 
that's what we're going to do with those. So. There he is. There's the star. There's the star of the show. Hi, buddy. You want to say hi? Everybody loves Koopy Butt. Right? Everybody loves Cooper. So, comment down below what you guys are doing today, Saturday. Guys. I gotta go put earrings in because I like earrings. I feel naked without earrings. Guys, guess what we have today? You're not gonna believe this. It's a freaking miracle. Guess what's what's here today? The sun. Here comes the sun. I'm gonna bring you over there. Here comes the sun. We haven't seen the sun. I don't know, in a couple weeks. Rain, rain, rain. That's all we've had. But here it is, guys. Ooh, a blue sky. Look how pretty. Oh, God. Spring, come on. I'm so excited. There's my garden. I'm going to actually... I already told my husband that I'm going to get... I'm going to get... I'm um, showing them the sun that we haven't seen in weeks. I want to get a couple of more um, big things like that to make more of a garden because... Um, I want to do a couple more things this year and this garden here is awesome, but it's so small and literally if I put zucchini in there Zucchini takes it over and I want to do zucchini this year again. I didn't do it last year and I regretted it I did the year before and I had zucchini up the wazoo like huge zucchinis, but I just love zucchini So I'm definitely gonna do zucchini So I need another box of some sort where we can um, Do it where Cooper won't get into it um, over you know, next to that one to do an, to do another garden. You want to go out, Koopy? Come on. <clears throat> it's cold, though. It's like 40 degrees. Not It's not warm, but it's nice out. But, yeah, I'm excited for spring. I can't wait. It can't come, it can't come freaking soon enough. Please, God, let us have a, a warm February, March, and April. <laughs> I don't want to see any snow. Love it. Love it. Don't like the heat. I don't like the hot heat, but I do like summer better than... Uh, you know, I would say it's in, in my, um, my, the, oh, Koopy. <laughs> it's, uh, my favorite seasons are fall, spring, and summer. That's it. Winter's last on my freaking list. But what are you going to do? You have to, I like the four seasons. I, you know, I, I, I lived in Florida for seven years and, um, it was, I, I like, I missed my four seasons. So yeah. You coming in, buddy? You going to come in? I know it's called. Ah, 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 you got your bone. Oh, you got your bone. This bone right here, he brings in and out. We allow him to. So he brings it in, he brings it out. He's so cute. Let me bring you over there. I'll show you the front, too. I showed you guys yesterday the front of the house where my landlord lives. Oh, look, he's got his bone. There he is. He brings it to his pillow. He lays on his pillow once in a while, not too much. He what always do, lays man? right there. Wait, what? What did you do, Dad? Nothing. He came in. With his bone. Oh. Um, this is where we lay together, me and Koopy, as you can see. That's usually where he lays. Sometimes I'll go on his pillow. But I wanted to show you. Here it is in the nice. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> I can just get the freaking door open. Why is this door not open? I'm going to open the door because... To see, to see, see, to see it through the screen is, is uh, not easy. So look at that beautiful. You see all those um, those greenhouses, guys. That's what we. Uh, he's up, he's back outside. This is the, like the front of our house. Um, the, the one I the back I just showed you was the other picture. The other part was the the back of my house. God, Linda. Um, but look how beautiful that in the summer and spring is all fields of. Uh, greenery which is all vegetables and all that stuff um yeah I I sometimes say at night I should I should just put my black suit on and go out there and 
take some veggies, but I would never have the nerve to do that. First of all, ceiling, second of all, I would never have the nerve to do that. But anyway, yeah, Field of Beauty. So pretty here. This is upstate New York, guys. We love it here. And again, that's my landlord's house. Sweet, sweet lady. Her dogs are usually out, but they're, if they hear Cooper, sometimes they, they then they come out. She's got like three dogs and they play. All right, so I'm gonna strain. Um, I'm gonna do the um, the shrimp one first, okay? Yeah, this is the shrimp. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm straining it now. Okay. Ugh. God darn it. Because, like I said, I don't want all that moisture in there. Because the moisture will create sogginess and make it soggy. So what I'm going to do is I put it in the strainer and then... To make it go faster, so I'm not gonna sit here and let it strain for three hours because I don't have the time for that. I'm just gonna do this with the smasher. Gently, because I don't wanna break up the, the shrimp. But yeah, see, take all that moisture out, squeeze it out a little bit. You can do it with your hands too, if you have clean hands. Just push it all down so you don't have all that. And like I said, that is the most important thing. Even just sit, the bowl just sitting there a minute by itself has gets more has more moisture in it. Yeah. Alright. Put this back in here. And you know, this is gonna sit a few more minutes and it might, it's gonna end up getting more, there's gonna be more moisture in here. But that's okay, because I'll drain it again. It's a pain in the ass, but, you know, it is what it is. You need all that flavor in there with that sauce, so you're going to have to have that. You know, you're going to have to do that. And now this is the mixed one. This one doesn't have as much um, moisture, and I don't understand why. I put the same amount in there. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. Roll this out. Ah, messy mess. Okay. that one. Yeah, this one is a shrimp. Why did I see a piece of shrimp in here? Maybe it just got mixed up. Yeah, this is the crab. This is the crab and the shrimp, right? Yeah. I forget if it has.
Mm. You smell that sesame oil and that soy sauce. Yum. Oh. Okay, yes, this is the crab meat, this is the shrimp. All right. All right, we're gonna start rolling these. And I think what I'm gonna do is I really do think that I'm gonna sit at the table because I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the, um, the electric skillet. Because I'm tired. I'm trying to put a little bit more garlic. I'm tired. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set myself up on that table, guys. All right, so I'm making some of them, guys. I made a couple already. I'm doing the shrimp ones. I'm gonna fr I'm gonna make a whole bunch up and then I'm gonna fry them right at the table here with my electric skillet. Um, so I made a couple already. What I do is I, I put, I make them like, I make it like a diamond. You know, I, sh I, I face it to me like with the, with the corners. Um, this way it looks like a diamond. And because that's how I do it. So I'll show you. I'll just put some water on the edges of it. Just a little bit, just to, so it, it helps it stick, you know. Now you see how this is, this is all, this is, also getting some more liquid in here. So what I do is every time I take a spoonful and I use a slotted spoon, I take a spoonful, I just go like this, grab it and drip it. So this way there is, I can't have any condensation because it will be soggy and then it'll ruin the whole freaking thing. And that, and I was so mad the first time when I made this a couple of weeks ago. So you just put it like this. If you can see, I'm going to show you up close. I've see, I've shown this on my channel before, but if you're new here and if you didn't see it, I'm going to show you. Okay, see how the it's like a diamond shaped. How I have it, I'll show you, facing me like that, long ways, and then I'll show you how I roll it. Does this go any lower? Let me see something. Just give me one second. Yeah, there we go. I tried, I hired it the other day and I forgot. Okay, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so then I take this corner right here and I, I fill it up pretty, pretty good. You know, it could be a little bit more maybe. It depends on how you like it, but I like it pretty full. Okay. Take the corner. See this? You stick it like this. You tuck it. Tuck your stuff in. It, if it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out a little bit, it's okay. You roll it a little bit, shove whatever's in there is hanging out. You take the one corner, you bring it over, tuck it like, like push it like that, bring the other corner over, tuck it like that because this, this is important because you have to have this part tucked in so nothing comes out on the sides, okay? And then you just tuck it again with your fingers, press in with your fingers like this, and it'll just, then just roll it up tightly. And make sure you have a little bit of water on the corner here so it sticks. And try to make sure that the, um, the egg roll itself is not wet. So I keep drying this because of the water, it, keep make, it keeps getting a little bit wet. You don't want it wet because then it becomes soggy, you know, and that's, you're not gonna get a crunch. You're not gonna get a crispy, Thing. so you want that so there you go guys and just make sure you see this one is untucked I'm just gonna because it has a little bit much in there but that's okay and if it comes out a little bit it's not the end of the world you're not gonna die nobody's gonna say oh my god Linda you're you know so you just tuck it in a little bit and once you stick them in the fryer you don't move them for a couple of seconds you know they it'll just close up so you don't have to worry okay everything could be taken care of everything could be fixed you know, most like more than, you know, more, mo mostly everything. Now it's very important when you're doing your wontons, um, your, your egg roll wrappers, to keep them covered with a paper towel or in a Ziploc bag because they will dry out. They're very, very quick to dry out. So it's very important when you take a couple 
and then you use them. You don't, you can't leave them out by themselves because they, like I said, they dry up very, very quickly. So I usually use my finger, but I'm just using this brush today. I feel like using this brush. So I'm just spreading the water just a little bit. My eye is itching me for some reason. So I'm gonna push this in again. And then just put it like this. I want to, I keep saying it, I want to make regular egg rolls. I'm going to make regular um, chicken uh, pork, you know, the, the regular um, egg rolls. I'm going to do that in a couple of weeks, next week maybe. So roll it tight, tuck in the corners. Like I said, just like this, just tighten it again. Like put your fingers like this, you know, and then just roll it. And make sure that this has water on it so it sticks. But not too much water, again, because you know the whole thing. So this is sticking out again, so I'm gonna stick this in. Just to tuck it in, to give it a little tuck tuck. A little tuck tuck. And there we go. Who needs to go spend five hours on an egg roll at the Chinese place? You don't. You don't, guys. I'm telling you. You don't. And it's just as good. Like, it, you're not, like, getting something that's not just as good. You're getting something that's good and just uh, uh, just as good and better. Obviously, actually, if you want to know the truth, better. You know how much salt you're putting into it. You know all of that so it, it just in, in every way it's a great it's a great thing so just wetting this again drop of water you don't want to put too much water because then it'll you know like i said water is not the um an egg rolls wrapper's friend it just isn't because it makes it soft all right press again just to get all that water out that fluid, liquid out, whatever the heck it is, the, all the sauce that's in there. Just doing double duty because I don't want to have, I don't want them to be ruined. I want them to be good. Especially that I'm going to be frying them first and then bringing them there and we'll stick them in a hot oven. Um, I want them to be nice and crispy. Because like, you know, I'm making the effort to do all this. I want it to be good. So again, bring it over, tuck the sides in. Also, if, if you see the meat coming out, like the mixture coming out, just push it in the middle more. This way it stays in and you have this piece, you know, whatever. I mean, but you can always just shove it in like I do anyway. All right, so you just tuck and roll, bring the side in, bring this side in. Sorry, if you hear my husband belching, my husband's stomach is not that great today. He doesn't feel that great. So he's in the living room and he's, you know, belching. <laughs> so if you hear that, that's what you hear. All right, so I just want to make sure there's enough water on the corner. And there we go, guys. You see? Look at that. Look at that perfect egg roll. It's tucked up. Ah, well, it, I, I spoke too soon. But yeah, no. That's tucked in, see? Tucked in. Perfect. Some of them are bigger than others. It depends on how much is in, I guess, how much mixture is in there, how I roll it. So they're not all going to be the same size. They're just not. I'm not, you know. I'm just trying to separate them because they. Oh, how much do I have left? Because oh yeah, I have a lot. Because I have to make some of the other ones too. But yeah, I'm almost, yeah, I only have like two more for this. They stick together just a little bit, so just separate them. Make sure you separate them because sometimes they look like they're they're separated and they're not. And then you're going to have a double one and it's it'll be fine. It just will be really thick. All right, I 
You should be able to get two or three out of here, guys. And these are great to make up. You can make them up raw like this. Stick them in a Ziploc bag. And, uh, you know, or, or um, stick them in the freezer for a few minutes, like on a plate or a tray, freeze them, and then put them in a Ziploc bag, and you could put them in the freezer and just keep them there until you want to use them. If you have company or if you just want, you know, a snack for you and your husband or you and your kids or whatever, it just, it's just a really, really good thing to do. Like, it's like do it once and then have it for, you know, having, having a lot of it. You can do that. And I, honestly, I, I did that once, I think, but... Honestly, whenever I make them, they go like crazy, so I never have enough to freeze. Unless I definitely just make them just to freeze. I never have I never have leftovers to freeze because everybody just crazily eats them. They love them. Love them. I make a taco egg roll, which is so amazing. I'm going to make that next, too. That's so delicious. My family. It's one of my favorite, one of my family's favorite appetizer things. Maybe I'll make them for um, Super Bowl and I'll make a couple of something. <clears throat> so just make sure that's tucked in and you got an egg roll, spring roll, egg roll. I also want to make spring rolls. I got to get the spring roll wrappers. I've never made spring rolls and spring rolls are my favorite. So that's going to be next on my list too. Spring rolls. All right, I think I can get two more of these, but I just want to make sure that I have enough. Yeah, I have enough for the others. Just make sure that this is not a double. Sometimes I feel like it's it's a double, but I can't get it apart. So that if I can't get it apart, then it's not a double, and I don't want to rip it. So I think it's I think this is not a double. Yeah. So I've just got to hope. That's all. This brush holds a lot of water, so to put it in here only once is really sufficient. You don't have to do it a couple of times. Basically, I think I can get two out of here. I think. What? Oh, Frank. Um, this is a lot for one, so I think it. I think. Let me see. Let me see. I was thinking of something to have you text you me. You should, now, yeah. When Dad was texting me stuff, I was trying to think of that. And you don't have any stations in here, right? I mean, you can look at there. I always buy it for you. I never use it. <sighs> I'm depressed. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, I'll get one more out of that. And that's perfect. Like I said... I'll take some shrimp rolls and I'll take some. Oh, I gotta make my. Um, I was gonna make a lemon pie to bring to the game night. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it because it has to sit in the refrigerator a while. So hopefully I can get that done. More pearls. <laughs> time consuming but it's so worth it if you make them all one time that's what I'm saying and you freeze them or they could stay in your refrigerator for like up to a week you know they're not good. what they're not good. I almost bought pickles oh you don't know, tell you my pickles no you don't make them anymore well because when I make them they rot in there I make pickles and they rot in the back of the refrigerator and then when he wants pickles, he's like, I don't want pickles. But meanwhile, when I make them, he doesn't eat them. That's a lie. Yeah. They don't know the truth, and they know you're lying. Yeah. <gasps> Is it good? No way. Is it good? You have steak season back there? Is it the store brand? No, it's mine. It's, it's almost a bowl of Oh, food. my God. He it's not has open. It. He has it in there, and he didn't even know it, and he forgot to buy it. It's good still. That's good. The only thing it does is it'll have a little bit less potency. It's not bad. I think it's good until February of next year. Yeah. Mm. He makes his own um, steak season, guys. He buys the McCormick steak season sauce. Then what he does is he adds... What do you add? Just garlic? Just 
He just adds cayenne to it. It makes it spicy. And that's what he put on the top of steak and stuff. Yeah. Am I seen? No, you're not seen. To get to the garbage? No, you won't be seen. You won't be seen. God, you can't even have his freaking toasty. <laughs> no. So, guys, see that there's liquid in here still. I'm trying to. What? They haven't earned that. Oh, really? They haven't earned my presence. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm dripping out some of the oil just because I don't of the of the sauce because I just don't want anything in there. Like I said. Did you season the meat for me? What? Did you season the meat oh, for no, me? Oh no, I forgot to do that. Oh shit, I didn't put the water on. Alright, I'll do that. You could put the water on after if you forget, guys, to fill it. You can do it, Frank. It's right in the Did you grab it for me? I'm doing something on video. I, mean, I can't get to the fridge. You can get to the fridge and the thing's not even it's not even showing you. You're, you're. It's on my face, totally. You can't. You know, you're not gonna be in it. So yeah. So this is good here. Perfection. All right. So I'm just gonna fix this more in a line, so it's kind of easier to roll up. I want to make sure my hands are dry, like I said, guys. I don't want a lot of condensation on the wrap, on the um, egg roll wrap. Last one of, of the shrimp. Tuck it in. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, roll, tuck it, roll, tuck it, roll. Bring in the corners. Keep this side in here like this. Always like with your finger, just like tuck these sides in like that. <coughs> Bless you. And then just. No, it's the kind. And then just. Um, here you go. Perfect. Look at that. Shrimp. All right. Yes. Yes, Mon. Yes, Mon. Who's Mon? Mon. Man. Yes, man. All right, this for some reason then it doesn't have a lot of liquid in it. Then, well, I mean, I strained it, so it's good. But um, you know, I'm gonna just taste this again to make sure that it has enough seasoning. Mmm, that's so good. Mm My son thinks I'm crazy. I know you're crazy. Not but, I know. Love me or leave me. I don't know. So, I'm going to take these shrimp rolls now. I'm going to wrap them. Because after all that work, I don't want them drying out. So, I'm going to wrap them here. Keep those here. And... You're not cooking them for later. Oh no, I'm gonna cook them down. As soon as I get a, a number of these, um, of this, of this one done, then I'll just, I'll put the oil in and start it. Wow, all set. I don't know what I should do about that. What happens in here? Things about get dirty. lemon pie. Save it for us. Too bad I didn't have any like tarts or anything. Should have got tarts. That meat? It should be right there in the front. I don't see it anywhere. You gotta open up your eyeballs. Lord. It's a small piece. It's, it's enough there, for right? you. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. smaller than the other one, right? Yeah. But I'm not eating. It's just me. So. Yeah. Where's the Italian dressing? Should be on the door. If it's not on the door of the fridge, then it's probably, you know. In the abyss. In the abyss called our fridge. Yeah, in the abyss. My mom pretends she cleans once a week and it doesn't get clean. I I just was cleaning it out before you saw me. You can do it yourself, you know, if you don't, if you, if you want. Right, guys? This isn't a lie. They can't say anything. 
they're saying it. They're gonna they're gonna say right to me. So listen, guys, while I have you on, if don't forget to hit that um, subscribers button if you aren't subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate when you subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And, um, you know, as always, thank you for coming into my kitchen with me and creating. Also, people have expressed um, 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 an interest in, um, they asked me if there's somewhere that they could send uh, a, little, a little gift of support um, to support my channel with what I'm doing and to keep going and all of that. And if that's, if you, if you would like to do that, um, you could send it to my Vimo. Venmo. Venmo. My Venmo. Thank God my son's here because I would say everything wrong. Um, and it's at Create with Linda, but it's capital C, capital W, capital L. So create, at Create with Linda. So that's my, my Venmo. All right, guys, so I'm just have telling you that because people have expressed that they would like to support my channel and all that, and so that's why I'm mentioning it. And that's it. So let's get finished here now. I'm gonna tuck this in. This is the first one of the um, of the crab. This one is a little bit too full, I think. I'm gonna take some more out. You know, you can overfill them, you know? You want them to be nice and full, but you don't want them to be overboard full, you know? Already. Okay, so. How do you use that grill function? You just put it on grill. You just put the button like how you put it on bake with or air fry. With you the grill tray, right? With, with, with the grill tray, yeah. These eggs are still here. Oh, I gotta put them more. So, like I said, just tuck it in. What time are you guys going out tonight? Like 6 30. Oh, okay. How late are you thinking of the hour? Oh, okay. Probably nine, ten o'clock. Oh, uh, where's that other plate? Oh, I doubled it. Mm. See, the problem with me is, like, I I was hungry before, so I didn't have the pizza because I wanted to avoid the carb situation. I didn't have a, pro well, I, well I, I did have a protein, but it was um, an avocado, and I had some of that, uh, some of that, um, seafood stuff but it's not anything solid the avocado was good to have you know it's protein and all that but I'm hungry now I'm hungry so what am I supposed to do now you know what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna have my um, my son just bought some ham that I had him pick up for me at the food store I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a little ham out I like that sometimes just to have a little ham like a couple of rolls of ham with like some provolone or some cheese um, and that's a good little snack and it's not a carb, you know, so it's, it's a good little snack. So I'm probably going to have that in a second because I, I'm hungry. And if I'm hungry, I got to eat something. And I feel like it's because I didn't eat anything really solid. I didn't really eat any, you know, solid protein. And that's what I think is my problem. But a lot of times I don't have, I don't, you know, I don't want the protein or if I don't have chicken meat, you know, I always say to myself that you gotta keep some chicken made up or, I actually do have some London broil left over. I could have had that, I could have that actually um, left over. So I always wanna keep that kind of stuff available for me so I can have something that's more protein wise and it fills me up. You know, that's the thing. I need to be filled up and I'm not, the stuff that I'm eating obviously is not filling me up so I'm doing the wrong thing so I gotta figure that out. All right, I'm tucking this in because this is oozing. I think I'm gonna fix this, add a little bit over to this side. And it's very, very, it's very, very, um, what's the word I wanna use? Very, very forgiving. Like you can really, like if you make a mess, you just start all over, you empty it out and you start again. If it rips, you can always just rip it and throw it out and put it, start another one or you know, paste it together. It's it's not rocket science, guys. It's not, and it's very very easy, very simple, and your kids could even do it. Oh, I forgot I had that one over there. It really is. It's not rocket science. Yes, I promise. 
Squeeze out but as much as you can. And you want it, like I said, in like a long, almost like a hot dog, you know what I mean? Like you want it very like thin kind of and long. So you have the length of the the length of the um, of the egg roll. You know what I mean? Very simple, like I said. Very simple. Roll, tuck, stuff it in there. Go into the chapel anywhere. Gonna get married. Going to the chapel and we're going to get married. I don't know why I'm singing that song. I just don't know. I don't. I don't know. All right, guys. Um, maybe I didn't love you. <clears throat> All those lonely, lonely times. I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time You're always on my mind Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You're always on my mind Tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. And give me, give me one more chance to keep me, to keep you satisfied. Keep you satisfied. All right. Shove it in there. All right, I'm going to show you this last one. I'm going to finish. Oops, Linda, hello. Forgot to put the corners in. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to show you this last one, and then I'm going to finish them, and then I'm going to put the oil in it, and we're going to start frying them up. Tuck. Make sure you tuck the sides in like that, and put a little bit on the corner of water there so it sticks. Make sure that it's not... Make sure that... Come on. It's not wet. First of all, it'll splatter in the oil, and second of all, you want to make sure that um, it's it's not wet so it doesn't get soggy. Okay, so that's four of those so far. Um, let's see how many how many of us do I have of here? Oh boy, one. Yeah, I have probably about five left of in this one. So, um, yeah, it's okay. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, people, the oil is getting hot here. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit and I'm gonna start frying these up. Um, let me get the thingy. All right. I'm going to start with the shrimp rolls. Are you ready? I'm going to hide the flame a little bit. Why is this wet? Oh, why is this wet? Oh, God. I don't want that to happen. No, 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 no. Gotta be on a high flame. But although I don't want them to be burnt either. Okay. 
everything is cooked in here already. So all it has to do is heat up and get warm and everything has to be, you know, cooked together, but. my apron. So cute. <clears throat> I mean, it's at 450. I want this to be a little bit hotter. Maybe I should cover it. Covered halfway. I feel like I need the oil to be a little bit hotter. Because if it's not really hot, then they don't come out, they come out greasy, you know? Also going to be heating them up there in a hot oven. So. I don't want them to get too brown either. So the oil is really hot before I put them in. Okay, I'm going to wait a couple minutes before I put the next one's in. I'm going to cover it and let it get really hot because I want it really hot. I don't want them to burn, but I want them to get like nice crisp as soon as I put them in. You know what I mean? All right. So the oil seems a little bit hotter. Okay. These are the shrimp rolls. After this are the 
the other ones. But these look really nice, guys. Look at this. Mmm. Look at the crisp on them. So freaking yummy. when you put them in it sizzles really hard and then the, the it seems like the oil gets a little cool cools down and then it comes up again for this this thing to fry I don't think it's such a great idea I should have put it in on the stove but it's okay it's working nicely sometimes I just don't feel like cooking at the stove you know I feel like seeing over here at the table I also have a hot plate, too, that I had my husband get me for one, one holiday. Or we just got it, I forget. But uh, I have a hot plate that I can cook on at the table, too. Because when I was really heavy and, uh, and uncomfortable, if I couldn't stand for very long, I would, um, what do I got over my shirt? Hello, the bib's down here, the bib. I always call it a bib. Um, I couldn't stand for a very long time, and I did everything at the table. I'm telling you guys, if you go back and look at those videos, oh, I was so uncomfortable. Move these over. Let's turn this one over. See, yeah, that's the that's the brown that I want right there. That's a better brown right there. You don't want them burnt, but you want them crispy, which is actually probably a good thing for this thing because when you first put it in, it sizzles. It gives like a good brown, and then it sizzles slow, so it will cook inside as well. You know what I mean? I think it's. I think this is a good. I think it's good, I think it's good, I think it's good. Guys, don't these look like they're from the freaking Chinese place? I think they look better than the Chinese place. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but serious. I'm serious. I want to stack these a little bit more brown. And then I will take them out and then we'll put the other ones in. <coughs> I'm so excited, and I'm tired. <laughs> All right, these are definitely done now. Because like I said, I don't want them to burn, and they're also going to get, they're going to get a little cooking tonight. When we get there, we'll put them in the, we'll heat them up, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Salted. Salt everything when it comes right out of the oil or the heat or the oven, because that's when it seeps it all when it's hot still it goes and it sucks in all that flavor. Right. Perfect. perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright guys, let's get these going now. I'm excited. I'm gonna start with the little ones. Let's start with the little meaner little baby ones. Hopefully, let's see where the oil is gonna. All right, let me give the oil a minute to heat up, because I should have gave it a minute, a minute. That's all right. These look so freaking amazing. I'm crazy. Here I go with that song. Crazy for feeling so lonely. That's Patsy Klein. I'm crazy. Crazy for feeling so blue. Wonky. Why do I... I don't know the word exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy for feeling and I'm crazy for loving you. One day, why do I keep myself free? There you go, guys. There you go. One day, what am I going
Look at that. Very, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice, nice. Um, all right, let me put these. I don't know where to put these because I don't want them laying all over each other. Um, let me get a pan. They lay on top of each other, you're going to get soggy, and I don't want that to happen. So we're going to lay them next to each other, and then we'll put the little ones over here. I don't want those to get overcooked. Woo! Almost lost, but I would have been really freaking upset. I'm crazy for and I'm crazy for loving you. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love it when a plan comes together. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, guys. When a plan comes together. Let's wait a minute. Let's wait a minute for that oil to heat up a little bit. Okay, and those are the shrimp ones, and these are the um, those are the the um, the ones with the um, crab meat. Good. There we go. Now don't touch them for like a minute or two. Let them get nice and crispy. And then turn them over. Did I salt these? I think I did, right? Yeah, I think I did. Mm -mm -mm. You know, it is a lot. Of, it's a work. It's work to do this, but you know, you can set yourself up for for success. You set yourself up. You roll them beforehand. You can stick them in the freezer. You know, there's all different things, guys. You don't have to do it all in one day. You don't have to make an enormous amount. You can make two or three for yourself. You're just making it for your, you and your husband or for dinner or, you know, a couple of people. You don't have to make it for a lot of people. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. It really doesn't. A little bit browner than that we want. So we're going to give it another minute because <clears throat> we want them to be dark. You know, dark, dark, dark tan. Not burnt, but dark tan. All right, guys, so these are all done. Okay, I'm full, so I'm not going to taste one for you, but they're crispy and crunchy and amazing looking things. Like, you just, you can, you know, whatever. These are perfect. So, that's my deal for today. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video Okay, this is going to be like the what's for dinner for today because I'm not making a what's for dinner tonight. Um, so I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one, but I think it was fun. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, you really help my channel grow. And I so appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit the notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And thank you for coming into my kitchen with me and creating because I love you guys. Don't forget, if you want to um, 
uh, support my channel, you can go on Venmo at, at Create with Linda, capital C, capital W, capital L. Thanks, guys. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.